and welcome to this edition of Spotlight on Bensonville Park District. I'm Rick Robbins, the Executive Director of the Bensonville Park District, and I'm joined here by two of our recreation supervisors that uh, handle our aquatics, our fitness, our leisure center, and our athletics programs. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit today about our fitness programs and our fitness center there at the Deer Grove Leisure Center. And Jesse Wygonick and Christine Hartnett, thank you for joining me today. And first of all, Jesse, um, I know there's many different ways that you can utilize our fitness center at the, at the Deer Grove Leisure Center. What would I get if I wanted to become a member of the center? What would I get for that gym membership? So uh, we actually have two kinds of memberships. We have an annual and a monthly um, and some categories within that, uh, depending on age and how many people you're, you're signing up. Um, you get use of the fitness center, which is open seven days a week. So we do have summer hours and winter hours, but okay. um, <clears throat> access to our walking track, our locker rooms, and open gym all come with that, as well as uh, a discount on our racquetball courts. Um, we have a nursery available, uh, so if you want to have some child care while you're working out, uh, the nursery is available six days a week. So, And the nursery is available for a very minimal charge, as are the racquetball courts. I believe it's really not very much per hour Correct. to utilize those, but the rest of that stuff is all included, all the different machines and such, correct? Correct. Um, if they go there and use the equipment, and uh, we, have, we have lots of different uh, pieces of equipment and types of equipment at the fitness center itself. If they go there, is there any guidance that we have to offer them? Are there staff persons there that can help out? There are. So we always have a fitness center uh, attendant on while the fitness center is open. So if they're not physically present, they might just be collecting towels or something. They know minimally how to utilize some machines. Some attendants know more than others just because they use the machines. Um, we also have a personal trainer that is available. So uh, she currently does floor hours, um, which vary depending on days and weeks and her availability, but we do have uh, information they're reaching out to her and she can set up a time in which both works for your schedule and hers to come in and work with you on just showing you the machines or if you're interested in doing actual personal training time with her. Okay, let's talk a little bit more about what you get and the equipment itself in the center. What different types of equipment do we have there to offer somebody that wants to come in and Exercise. <clears throat> so we have a variety of cardio machines, ellipticals, treadmills, Stairmaster, uh, some sitting bikes, and then we also do strengthening machines. So every pretty much muscle group you could work. Um, so you could do a full circuit or you could just come in and work your arms one day and your legs the next day, plus a variety of uh, free weights. So if you prefer to kind of do your own workouts or uh, you don't like the access of the machine, you are of more capability with those as well. Okay. And the walking track, of course, it's all weather, so it's indoors. So to fight the bad weather at any time of the year, really, you can come in and walk. And uh, I think it's 17 laps to a mile. It, it, it's it elevated is. over our gym. I think that's the inside track. I don't know the exact right. for the outside, but yeah, it's a two lane track that runs around our gym, uh, second floor. and. We just ask that people sign in and then they have free access. To yeah, it. and one of the nice things is we do have the outside walking track as well, which is about a half mile. It's, it's not quite, maybe about four tenths of a mile, I think. Um, but uh, it's nice to have that access too, where you can come in and work out or go out and go outside and walk and then come back in or either way. And Christina, I don't want to leave you out, <laughs> but uh, we certainly offer a uh, wide variety of classes. I think over 20, 25, somewhere in that range of classes. So what type of uh, opportunities do they have at the park district? Uh, either taking those classes individually or as part of your membership at the, at the fitness center? Um, well, we do offer about at least 20 classes every calendar session. Uh, okay. we, do, we have annual memberships where you can come to any fitness class anytime. You can do, we have monthly unlimited passes, we have um, you can just register for the class individually and just come to that class every time. Or we do also offer punch cards, which is, I believe, for 11 classes. Um, and then you can just use them and come to any 11 classes you want. Or you could just show up on a daily exactly. basis and or pay you could show up any day. a daily fee for a class. Mm -hmm. As well, you could pay a daily fee to just come in and work out at the, at the fitness center, too. Okay, so what type of classes then do we have? Give me we some have of the different variety. <laughs> 
We have classes, uh, lots of different cardio and strength classes that we have. We do offer um, yoga and pio, which is Pilates yoga combination. Um, we do offer classes in the morning. We have classes in the evening. Um, and one of our more popular classes that we have is we have Zumba. So we have Zumba toning and Zumba. Zumba toning is where you use, utilize um, lighter hand weights okay. um, to get a different type of workout. That's off. We have Zumba a couple different days during the week. And then during the summer, we also offer aqua classes at the pool. Um, so we have aqua Zumba and aqua aerobics. And so those will be included in your membership as well, Correct. potentially. Yep. Okay. So I think with those memberships, then you have a variety of opportunities to um, either sign up as a fitness center for a membership with full use of the center, uh, for classes, full use of all the classes at any time you want, or a combination pass, correct? Correct. So we do offer those three options, and we offer them annually, monthly, <coughs> et cetera. So a lot of uh, flexible options available for anybody, and hopefully to meet everybody's needs in that. How about the kids? What ages do we take at the fitness center and in some of these classes, and then what else might we be offering for some kids' fitness? Uh, for kids' fitness, we right now we do have uh, Zumba Kids. Zumba okay. Kids is for... Um, ages 4 to 14, we have a pretty good enrollment in that class right now. Um, we do also offer kids, or, yeah, kids ages 14 and up to join our regular fitness classes in the evenings okay. as well. And for the center, it's a little trickier um, just because we don't want them to overexert themselves or hurt themselves. So we do have a waiver that is required to be signed by a parent present in front of one of our staff members. Um, if it's a reoccurring, it's a little, we're a little more loose, but the first time we go through that waiver in pretty good detail. Sure. Um, 14 and 15 are allowed on cardio machines, 16 are allowed on strength machines, but they're not allowed to use free weights uh, without parents around and stuff. It's just safety okay. concern, but we do allow them in, in the center, uh, and they generally like to use it for the basketball. Understand. Well. And there are open gym hours that are available as part of the fitness, but we also have an open gym program for a lot of the kids. We get a lot of junior high kids that come in after school and even high school kids that walk over to our center with the great location that we have here in town and uh, just come in and play basketball and enjoy open gym almost every day. Um, how about uh, you guys, what do we offer specifically for seniors in terms of fitness? Is there something that's geared directly for them? Mm -hmm. We have a couple different um, senior options for classes. Most of them are held in the morning hours, so between 9 and noon. Uh, we do offer chair yoga and Zumba Gold, which is a modified Zumba class for seniors, as okay. well as um, some more some classes that are there to work on uh, posture and just strengthening of core muscles for seniors. Great. And then we also have a variety of machines that are designed for uh, low joint movement and not a lot of necessary uh, intensity on tendons and joints and things. Um, recumbent bikes is kind of a category in that. Uh, we have a, several of those, but then also most of our machines can be utilized in a low capacity. So a walk in the treadmill instead of utilizing it as a run um, has been, you know, helped some people with their uh, okay. ability. What are we looking for, Jesse, in terms of new equipment or, or some new, or even Christine, new, you know, anything else new coming down the road here for fitness here in Bensonville? So we are looking to uh, replacing our treadmills. We're kind of starting that process pretty thoroughly now, um, figuring out what machine is best for our participants, what would be easiest, but also uh, fitness is very much like technology and it changes rapidly. So we want to make sure we're not buying something that will be out of date. Um, we also are looking, uh, part of the membership package that you get is access to our boxing room. So that's part of uh, what we're looking to update as best we can, try to bring more uh, into that space so you get a larger square footage per, for your uh, membership. How about um, if I want to just come in and try it out or try out a class? Do I need to pay to do that or is there a way to get in and just try something out? Well, we do offer the daily fees, as we already talked about, um, for all, pretty much all the time. Um, we do also, during the year, offer about three free weeks a year. So the fitness center and group fitness is all free for that one Great. week. And usually it's the beginning of every new brochure that okay. we put out. So once in the spring, summer, winter, spring, 
usually in January, once in the fall, and then again in the summer. Great. And I think those usually coincide with some sort of sale also with our rates and and residents can certainly look for that if you're if you're looking to join our fitness center or want to try it out. It sounds like there are some very affordable and easy ways to do that. How about one other thing? How about special events with fitness? What do we do? I mean, you know, I know we're big on special events here at the Park District. We have them in almost every area. Do we do something fun and different in uh, fitness as well? We do. Um, every year we have offer Bensonville Park District runs a uh, 5K run that we will be hosting this summer. Uh, and then also something we've been looking forward into doing is uh, setting up a health fair for the residents of Bensonville and for our members. Great, great. And I know the Park District is uh, um, also a member of the Bensonville Youth Coalition, who is the founding sponsor of Be Well Bensonville, which is a big event every fall here in town. Uh, that includes a walk and a, and a wellness fair and a lot of different activities. And really the, the point of that is to help fight childhood obesity, to really make uh, Bensonville a healthier place to live and grow up and uh, for families. So uh, we are uh, obviously a big part of the Be Well Bensonville initiative and we'll continue to do that and work closely with them. Guys, anything else that we want to add? I feel like we covered a lot. I think that's great. Um, again, we'd love to have you join our, our fitness center at the Deer Grove Leisure Center. And uh, if you want to come out and try out one of our fitness classes or try out the center or just take a tour of the, of the building, if you haven't been there, and especially if you're a new resident and haven't been there at all, find one of these guys or find me and we'll be glad to show you around and. Uh, Again, thank you for your time today. The Water's Edge Aquatic Center is conveniently located in the Redmond Recreational Complex in Bensonville. The Water's Edge is home of Fenton High School and Wahoo swim teams, featuring an indoor eight-lane lap pool and diving well. The Aquatic Center is available for private functions and parties. Learn to swim, stay in shape, or enjoy recreational swimming year-round at the Water's Edge Aquatic Center. The Bensonville Community Library, serving a community of readers. Whether you're old or young, a lover of words, music, or computers, the library has something for you. Check out our new Kindles, Toddler Jams, Story and Movie Nights, or a variety of other activities offered. For more information, call us at 630-766-4642, or check out our schedule on the web at benlib.org. The Bensonville Community Library, celebrating 50 years of library service. Staying connected is important, and at the Village of Bensonville, it has never been easier to keep up to date with what's happening in our community. On your phone, PDA, PC, laptop, or tablet, the Village of Bensonville website offers easy integration, so you'll stay connected at home, in the office, or on the road. To follow us on Facebook, 
Simply go to the Bensonville homepage and click on the Facebook icon in the lower left-hand corner. This will take you to the Bensonville Facebook fan page. Once there, click the like button to add us to your newsfeed and receive regular updates from around town. To follow us on Twitter, simply go to the Bensonville homepage and click on the Twitter icon in the lower left-hand corner. This will take you to the Bensonville Twitter page. Once there, click the follow button to add us to your Twitter feed and receive regular community updates. To receive email and cell phone notifications, click on the Notify Me button. This will take you to the Notify Me dashboard. Once there, simply add your email address and or cell phone number at the top of the page and then select which service you would like to receive updates from. The most common update section is in the News Flash Bensonville News. Click on the envelope icon for email alerts and on the phone icon for phone alerts. You can choose one, the other, or both. To watch our public access cable show or board meetings, simply click on the Bensonville Web TV button on the lower left sidebar menu of the homepage. This will take you to our streaming center where you can play current and past Bensonville cable TV shows and board meetings. To pay your Bensonville utility bill online, just click the online payments button and then follow the instructions provided on our secure payment site. If you have any problem, concern, or question to tell the village, then click on the Bensonville Action Hotline button. This will take you to the Action Line dashboard, where you can explain your issue and receive a response within 48 hours once you have clicked the Submit button at the bottom of the page. Staying connected is important. And at the Village of Bensonville, it has never been easier to keep up to date with what's happening in our community. On your phone, PDA, PC, laptop, or tablet, the Village of Bensonville website offers easy integration, so you'll stay connected wherever you are.